Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, for spending some time with me today because today we're gonna talk about cream blush. I love a good cream blush. I actually think at this point, I prefer cream blush over powder. Never thought I would say that in a million years because a few years ago, that didn't tend to be the case. I opted only for powder and I just had this dislike for cream blushes, but you know. Things change, our tastes change. So that being said, I've got quite a few cream blushes in my collection and have added even a few more with the Sephora sale. So at this point in time, it's totally um, time to do a cream blush ranking. So if you're interested in seeing not only what cream blushes I have in my collection, but also how I rank them, how they work for me and why, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have got 13 blushes in my collection, 13 cream blushes but that does not include the three different ones that I picked up during the sale as well. And I have used those, I feel like, enough to know where they kind of stand in my collection, but thoughts on that also change. But however, I will incorporate those as they stand today, um, just because I really do have, again, a good feel for how I like them, how they wear, that kind of thing. So let's just go ahead and kick it right off. This one, my last one. So I'm gonna start off with, Technically number 16 because with the three new ones, I've got 16 at this point. So this is going to come as a surprise to you because of the brand, but it is the Hourglass Cream. Let's see, what is this called? The Hourglass Vanish Cream Blush Stick. And this particular shade is in the shade Sacred. This formula, I just can't get behind. And I have used this all of two times for the price point. Oh my goodness. I really need to use it more often than that. I just don't like the very matte formula for a cream blush. Yes, I don't want something that's gonna slide around my cheeks, but I also don't want something that is <laughs> a little more difficult to apply. I want just easy, but beautiful still, longevity, all of that good stuff. And this does not do it for me. It tugs, it's hard to blend out, very hard to blend out. And so, you know, I don't need to be spending five minutes alone just doing cream blush. So the shade is beautiful. These were selling out left and right when they first released, but you know, there's better out there, especially for the price point. It hurts my heart to say that. Okay. The next to last is the e.l.f. Putty Blush. One of the reasons being that the little, it, it's just so tiny and granted, yes, blush brushes can be smaller, but I like to use a lot of times a good fluffy blush brush. And there's times where I'm trying to dip in here and the bristles are going all around anyways. In addition to that, because of the putty formula, it tends to need a lot. <laughs> I need to dig quite a bit. So to get the flush that I'm looking for. So this is just one little swipe and you see it's really more sheer. And um, so now you know what I mean about trying to get a lot of product on the brush. It just, for me, yes, the price point is great, but I'd love a great price point with a good product. So not to say that it's not good. I mean, I am sure there are people out there, maybe you're even watching, that love this formula. But for me, it is just a, mm, I, can, I can take it or leave it. Next up, it's actually Tower 28. Can you believe it? These just, again, not my favorite formula. Um, they are beautiful shades and I just, mm, and I think you can use these on the lips as well. Yeah, buildable luminous color for cheeks and lips. The Danessa Myricks that I just picked up during the sale is also for cheeks and lips. I do not like these formulas on my lips. I feel like they look a little, feel a little too much like gel. They're a little too thick. I don't know, something about them that I just don't like for the lips. But in addition, I'm also not a fan for the cheeks. I feel like this is just, it's just a gel formula that not that it doesn't set well on my skin, but it's not in any way, shape, or form my favorite. There are others that just do better. Now, they are very pigmented. Look at what I just picked up on one little swipe alone. But it almost reminds me of the formula of a lip gloss. So, and I just, I just don't enjoy putting that on my cheeks. So, they are, again, beautiful in shade. This is Beach Please. This is, sorry, no. That's the name, the lineup of blushes. This is Happy Hour. This is Magic Hour. <clears throat> Magic Hour out of the two is the one I like more, but I just, again, the formula, not my, not my cup of tea, and I have used those so sparingly that, anyways. So on that same note, next up are the Milani 
cheek kiss. I loved these when they first came out and honestly that's why I have three. But as with anything makeup related, the more brands come out with new and improved formulas, the more you start putting aside things that were super hyped up and that you loved, you know, a year ago, two years ago. And that's the case with these. It's a great formula, but it almost kind of uh, goes down the path of the Tower 28. They are more of a gel-based consistency. They are beautiful. They obviously are very shiny and glowy because of that gel formulation. But again, just I feel like in my mind, I have made these out to be kind of like a lip gloss type of formula, and I just don't reach for them. So... The price point is great. The color selection is also wonderful. Um, these wear very nicely, but for me, again, this gel formula is something that I just don't enjoy anymore. And so that is, that's that. So moving on. Okay. Another gel formula though. I, out of all of the gel formulas that I've just showed you, I feel like this is the one I like best but it ranks next and it is the Rare Beauty, what is this, Melting Blush, Nearly Rose. I feel like these didn't get as much um, love as her originals for good reason. I think it's because of that gel-based formula, um, but this is a thinner type of gel formula, so, or balmy type of formula, if you will, um, but it goes on obviously very sheer, but Rare Beauty is known to be more the minimalistic type of makeup look, and um, and so I see what she was going for. And I love the Rare Beauty um, blushes in the, the little tube, for lack of a better word. Um, and so I knew I had to give this one a try. It's just one that doesn't get reached for hardly at all. This one is in the shade, again, Nearly Rose. And uh, again, I've used it maybe three times. So I love the little component though. This is so cute. It reminds me of just a pretty pink candy. Um, but yeah, that's that I could take or leave. Okay, next up is actually very surprising that it's not higher <clears throat> on the list. But again, these were, you know, Fenty Beauty, she has like navigated uncharted waters, I feel like. And so when she came out with these, everybody was on this bandwagon. And so I remember everyone was complaining about, oops, as I drop one, how small they are. But listen, I have three and I I will never go through one in its entirety. Now, these are, so that's the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. Um, these are almost like a hybrid of a cream gel type of formula. So you've got a little bit of both worlds there and they are lovely. Um, but I just, again... <laughs> I don't reach for them. There are other formulas I enjoy more. These do last on my skin. They wear very, very nicely. They're, I mean, there's a reason I have three. I remember this Fuego Flush was the one everybody was after because of its unique shade. And um, But I just, again, I prefer, I feel like now a, and not 100% of the time, but I prefer for most days a very creamy type of formula. And obviously you see the trend in how I'm ranking these uh, is that they are, you know, very kind of gel, either gel uh, type of formula or obviously a hybrid in this case. So um, there's Fuego Flush, but it is definitely more sheer. It's more buildable. And there is a time and place for that. And there are people who actually prefer that, who go the more minimalistic route. And I think that's wonderful. Um, but for me, it's just not something that I, you know, really enjoy anymore. Maybe if I would have done a ranking like a couple of years ago, these would have definitely ranked higher. But you know what? As I mentioned, things change, improvements, and there are better products out there at this point in time, at least for me. That's just my opinion. So that being said, let's move on to the next one. All right, now we go on to number 10. Now, here's where it really started getting difficult for me because there are a lot of these that I actually love. And so having to put them in a, you know, in an order or in a ranking was kind of difficult. But for number 10, and this is not because it's bad or anything, it's just because there are others that I like more. So the Tarte cream blush. It looks like it's in like a rainforest of the sea type packaging. So I'm going to assume it is. It came in one of those Sephora favorite sets. So it's definitely one of the mini sizes. This is in the shade peach sunset. And this one really surprised me when I first used it. I did not expect it 
did not expect to like it as much as I do. And this is definitely more of a creamy type of formula. I kind of compare this to the hourglass that I ranked last, but this is creamier. It's not as, because it's got that thick creamy feel like the hourglass does, but it doesn't tug like the hourglass does. And that makes the hugest difference for me. So definitely beautiful, easy to apply, easy to blend. And the creaminess for me is what gives almost like an airbrush type of look and I am here for it. So I intended to buy one or two more, but you know, never got around to it and here we are. So ranked number 10, but a beautiful, beautiful blush. Next is the LYS in the shade Kindness. This is the higher standard satin matte cream blush. And it is just that, a satin matte. So I have found that I feel like that's the type of formula I like best, that it's got that matte type of look and feel, not even a feel, because I can feel the satin. It's got a little bit of slip, but yet it's got, it's a hybrid and that it's got that kind of matte to it as well. So this is also just like that tart that I just showed you. And I feel like they're very similar um, in the way they apply, in the way they look the tart being slightly more matte, but these are beautiful. And for the price point, it is such a good buy as I drop it on the floor. It is what it is. I'm not concerned about it breaking since it's cream. So anyways, but love the LYS. Still rank number nine though. So you know there's some even more stellar ones in my lineup. Okay, all right. So next up number, I guess this is number eight. This is the Anastasia Stick Blush. Um, and this particular one is in the shade Latte. There is something about this formula that I really like. Now this one has a little bit more slip to it. And I don't know that I feel like it's a, it's got any kind of gel consistency, but it is very slippery to the touch. Once you put it on though, it just stays put. It looks so flawless. It's beautiful. This is one of those that gives you that flush but yet extra punch. So it's kind of in between um, and it takes so little effort to put on the cheeks to grab and go or just, you know, put it on and be out the door. And I love this shade so, so much. So this one, I feel like they released, they were all the hype and then they just kind of fell off the wagon <laughs> and everyone forgot about them as is typical in the makeup world. But anyways, that is such a good one. Okay, next up are the Jaclyn blushes. These are the cream to powder yep cream to powder blush stick and they are just that literally you can feel it kind of transforming into a powder and uh, this is how it's gonna stay now I don't have a set face today so it's looking a little more dewy than usual um, but I'm wearing the shade swoon which is that brighter orange type of shade and these are incredibly pigmented Again, these remind me very much of that hourglass formula, but with a very manageable formula to move around, to blend in. I love the brightness of these shades because you don't find that too often with either a cream blush or even a powder brush, I feel, or blush, I feel like. Um, but more on the cream side, you don't find a whole lot of super bright. And these are bright, but they're not, once you start putting them on, they're not intimidating because they blend out. They just kind of diffuse and they look so beautifully. They wear nicely. This will last on my face till I take my makeup off this evening. So I love these so much. And uh, there's a reason that they rank the way they do. So, okay. Let's move on to the next one, which is actually one of my newer products. So this I think would be number six. <laughs> I don't know, I've lost count at this point. And it's still in its box, but it's the Danessa Myricks um, blush palette. This one got very mixed reviews, so I was hesitant. I was like, oh, you know, I don't want one of those gel balmy type of formulas. And in a way, it is that. So uh, I'm almost kind of contradicting myself in that um, you know, those are my least favorite, yet I really like this. But I feel like I like this enough to where it does rank higher. It doesn't disrupt my powder if I put it on over powder. And the thing is also because of the gel-based formula, it's not higher on my list. So it definitely, there is a beauty to these shades that just goes so nicely on the skin that for whatever reason, even though it is a more balmy gel consistency or formula, I like them more than the ones I ranked uh, towards the end. I also like that it's a one-stop. I've got everything in here, so if I wanted to travel with it, I could. I did try this on the lips, but again, 
as in going back to that whole conversation, I don't like that kind of, I don't like this kind of formula on my lips. It's like too thick. So definitely love this one. I think this is number six. I don't know. I could be wrong at this point based on <laughs> losing track, but it definitely ranks so much higher than the gel formulas I ranked at the end. So I actually very much like that palette and I am happy that I picked it up during the sale. Okay. All right, you guys, number five, let's move into number five, which is the Makeup by Mario um, Soft Pop Blush Sticks in Earthy Pink. Again, with this one, oh, it's, I guess I smushed it at the top. Um, this is one I had completely planned to buy more of. They kept on selling out and then I forgot about them, but I feel like this man can do no wrong. This is such an amazing formula. It is does have a little bit of that gel consistency or balmy consistency, but I feel like the creaminess aspect of it outweighs the gel. It goes on like a dream. It is so beautiful. If you overdo it, it's so easy to blend out. It's so easy to diffuse and the shades are just stunning. This particular one, I every time I put it on, no matter what my eye look, it always goes. It always just pairs well. It's it's beautiful. Like I said, I feel like the man can do no wrong. And I do think I still want to pick up a couple other shades when I get around to it. But this one is absolutely stunning. And the only reason it isn't ranked higher is because there's others I like even more. Okay, let's move on to number four, which is another one of my newer ones. Crazy that it ranks so high for being so new, but it is what it is. And I have used these at this point enough to know that I am so blown away and I'm going to get so much use out of them. But the Huda Beauty, what are these called? It is the Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. This particular one is in Perky Peach. I love all three shades, which was the pink and the coral. These have, I'm gonna tell you, a glow to them. It leaves you with a sheen that I have come to realize that when I use this, I don't use highlight. It's like a one and done, double duty kind of thing, and it kind of saves me that step. It looks healthy, it looks beautiful, it looks just glowy. And like I said, I forego highlight just because this has such a beautiful glow and sheen to the skin that like I could do this and be just absolutely <laughs> mesmerized. So these are definitely high on my list. It's the reason I ranked it so high for being so new. And I am over the moon that I picked up three of them. I don't I've gotten to where I don't typically do that anymore. I'll pick up one product that has recently come out to make sure I like it. And then if I like it, I'll go back and get one or two more. I went all out and I'm so glad I did. These are amazing if you like a very glowy type of blush. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, let's move on. That was number four. Okay, we've got three more. So next up for number three are these Say blushes. These are the Dew Blush. And that's exactly why I love these so much is because they have a very dewy formula. Now I've had mine for a while. I'm having to kind of mix them up a little bit. You know how cream products get. But the Doe Foot is like ridiculously chunky. And these are... <sighs> It's like a liquid gel type of formula. I don't know how to describe it to you. They just blend out so well, which I was, when they first ordered them and they came in, this was what, like a year, two years ago? I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna work. They are, I think, a little too liquidy and they just surprised me. Say is an amazing brand. I really love most products by the brand. These are the two shades for reference. It's rosy and poppy, and I just love these, especially on a time, on a day where I'm using like a tinted moisturizer because they are very natural. They do blend out to where like it's just pretty effortless. You see how it shears out and it ends up becoming quite just the flush and it's just absolutely stunning. So they are minimalistic, but yet not. And these are another that will last on my face all day long and they just look so beautiful. And that flush is such a beautiful look these days, especially because it just looks like you've got that glow or that rosiness from within, you know? I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say, but love. All right, guys, the last two. So don't be surprised at this one. I. I'm over the moon for these. This is the item blush. I will be buying a couple more. This one is in the shade Oopsies. This is almost like a cream to powder formula, kind of like the Jaclyn Hill. This 
gives my cheeks a look that I have not seen in a very long time. It looks airbrushed. It looks smooth. It just looks flawless, but the flush is beautiful and it stays and it does not fade, which is huge. And I cannot believe that I love these this much. I was almost going to pass this by. It does feel very powdery when you swatch it and you just can tell it's like one of those cream to powder type of formulas. And look at this. It just is so smoothing, so beautiful. You guys, these are, I feel like such a diamond in the rough and I think they were $17. Definitely plan to pick up a couple more the minimal effort to put this on is ridiculous. So, and that says a ton for me. So that is why it's number two so quickly. And I fully anticipate it to stay high up there for a very long time. I'm going to get so much use out of that blush. Okay. Last but not least, this is not going to come as a surprise to you. And that is the Rare Beauty. I feel like so many people would say these are their number one and for very good reason. This blush, cream blush formula is unlike anything I have ever seen. And I don't know, I feel like it's going to take some big shoes to fill. Again, a very chunky applicator or doe foot and they are incredibly pigmented. That's nothing you don't know because these have been around for a couple years at this point. But the price point on her products is so good get so much product in here and literally like especially with these brighter ones you don't need even that much for one cheek that would be for two cheeks <laughs> because they are so so pigmented but the crazy thing is as pigmented as they are they're so easy to blend out so I love 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 this formula it's smoothing they come in two different types of finishes which like the matte and the I feel like this is the it's either dewy or satin it doesn't say on the bottle but one is a matte and one is a satiny type of shade and they are just they're stunning i mean there's a reason these blushes are on everybody's favorite list and i don't see myself knocking these off the first the number one spot for a very long time they've been my favorites quite frankly, since I picked them up and started using them. So definitely number one, I can't go without the rare cream blushes for that very reason. Alrighty, my friends, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you enjoyed it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Please do so as it helps the channel so very much. And if you're new, I hope you'll consider subscribing and stick around for a little bit. Before I let you go, I just want to give you a very quick verse of the day to motivate you, encourage you, and to tell you that Jesus loves you. Today's comes from Psalm 55, 22, and it says, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. If you are going through hard times, you need someone to walk with you, you need someone to sustain you, turn no nowhere else but Jesus. He's the one who is your only hope. He's the one who can help you, who can guide you. I'm just, I, this is not forcing it on you. It's just letting you know that a life with him for me has been the absolute most wonderful thing of my life. Alrighty, friends. Well, thanks again for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, stay safe and stay well. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye.